folks, your pal Bobby here, and today I'm back with another snack taste test um, from another snack that came all the way from Hawaii. Uh, the Kona blurb that was listed on a little piece of note paper said that this is a bit of a potatoey, starchy snack, mostly meant for kind of younger kids, um, but uh, Kona still really liked them, so she included it in her package. So we're going to give these a try today. And uh, I gotta say, I was looking over the packaging of a lot of the snacks, and this one probably is my favorite. There's a lot going on here on this packaging, and I'll try my best to show it off here. First of all, um, I, I suppose this snack is called Jim Want Ball Cookie. Now, granted, this appears to be uh, Chinese or Japanese lettering. Uh, the reason I'm not sure is because on the very back, it says product of Taiwan, so I'm not completely sure what kind of lettering that is, but uh, usually there's, you know, some kind of strange translation into English, and it usually comes out sounding like Jim Want Ball Cookie. So, um, imagine going into a shop and asking for these by name in English. It'd be kind of silly. But there's a lot going on here with this packaging. I suppose the brand here is called Hot Kid, and uh, he looks like he's having a good time there. And there's a couple eggs kind of scattered throughout the packaging here, making it seem as if uh, maybe these are supposed to be pseudo chicken eggs, even though they're not. And uh, one thing I really like too is the little musical notes. I guess they're just having a, a fun party with these eggs. Uh, on the back, one thing I wanted to note was um, that the main ingredient here is potato starch, which I'm truthfully not sure if I've ever known I've tried that. Um, and one of the sentences on the back kind of made me chuckle. It says, please consume, you probably won't be able to see it, but please consume as soon as possible after opening package. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that just kind of struck me funny. I will indeed consume these as quickly as possible. Nice thing is that they're good for quite a while, so these should still be uh, pretty good shape here. So without further ado, I'm going to get these into a bowl and we'll try them out. Okay, and we're back here. We poured a couple of these things into a bowl, and we can see that they're pretty small in size. Um, truthfully, they kind of have the shape and initial appearance of like a soup cracker. Uh, that's what first came to my mind. I thought they maybe were some soup crackers, and I accidentally dropped one of those. Good thing we have more. <laughs> so uh, they just kind of feel like a piece of bread, truthfully, even though I believe the main ingredient, I guess, is potato starch, and hopefully I'm getting this good enough on the camera here. So I think uh, really not much to do here other than uh, to give these a try. I'll try one at first and since they're so small I'll probably try a few. So here we go. Jim Want Ball Cookie Taste Test. I'm actually initially surprised there was a little bit of sweetness right away. And then the candy starts to kind of melt in your mouth with uh, your saliva making it a little moist. And it's already kind of fallen apart in my mouth and it's kind of disintegrated. Very interesting. It's a sweet tasting item. It does taste like a cookie. I'm trying to think of what does this taste like. It kind of tastes like uh, some kind of Christmas cookie. I'll try one more here. We'll give this one a crunch. Well, it crunched right away and basically disintegrated. It's a strange, uh, not strange, but it's like a, a mix between a cereal and a cookie. That's what I would have to say here. Very tasty overall. It's certainly nothing wrong with this. It has a unique flavor that maybe I'm not used to um, on this side of the world, but it definitely tastes good. So I think the only thing left to do here is probably try maybe three of these bad boys all at once. And here we go. Flavor, of course, is intensified, being three. Very quickly disintegrating. And they're pretty much gone. I can see how, why these are uh, kind of maybe for smaller children. They kind of have that kind of, I don't know, cereal taste, like it would be tough to maybe choke on these, they disintegrate so quickly. Um, but overall, very tasty snack, uh, gives you a little bit of a sugary type 
um, fix and um, you know they're they're small and easy easy to grab so I got gotta say that this is two thumbs up bam bam for this little snack here so I think that about does it guys I'm gonna go enjoy some more of my gym one ball cookie and thanks for joining me